Let's bring out the crafting table and let's craft some custom recipes. Minecraft modding courses with close to 100 topics ranging from custom tools and armor to custom block entities all the way to custom mobs linked in the description below. Alright, we friends, we're back in the once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding custom recipes to our mod over here and that's going to be very interesting indeed. If you've ever messed around with data packs then you might actually know a little bit about custom recipes in this case and they actually require a new folder in the resources and that's going to be the following so right click new directory called data inside of there we'll make a new directory called tutorial mod or whatever your mod ID is and inside of there we'll make another directory called recipes making sure that we write this correctly has to be resources data tutorial mod recipes and then there are plenty of recipes to make but let's start with an easy one and that's going to be a shapeless recipe where we put the sapphire block into the crafting grid into any of the different slots and we will get out nine sapphire so in the recipes folder we're going to create a new file that's going to be a json file again and that is going to be the sapphire underscore from underscore sapphire underscore block data json you notice that the name of this JSON file does not need to match any of the results and or ingredients that we put into it. Basically, you can give the recipe JSON files whatever name you desire. As for the contents, I will just quickly type them out and then we will take a look at them. So first of all, we have a type. This is going to be Minecraft colon crafting underscore shapeless here in this case, as this is a shapeless recipe. We then have to define a category. We're just going to use the miscellaneous category here. And then we have some ingredients. Now the ingredients here is a list seen by these brackets over here and they contain JSON objects. This one seen by the curly brackets. And this is going to be an item. And the item here is tutorial mod colon sapphire underscore block. Basically meaning that we have to put in a sapphire block anywhere into the crafting grid. And then what are we going to get out? Well, we get out a result over here. And the result here is going to be another item that is tutorial mod colon sapphire. And how many are we going to get out of this? Well, exactly a count of nine. There we go. Now the JSON files here are of course available to you in the GitHub repository linked in the description below. So you can basically double check and make sure that you've done everything correctly and basically compare with your own. Or they're also fine for copying over. That's totally okay. Just make sure to change what you need to change right in the item, both the ingredients and the result. Yeah, and with this one added, we would literally be able to simply put a sapphire block into the crafting grid, be it three by three or two by two, and we would get out nine sapphires. So that's really cool. But let's get the reverse of this. So basically making another recipe, and that's going to be the sapphire block from sapphire. Now Jason. And what is this going to be? This is going to be a shaped recipe. Basically, we're going to give it a certain shape that we have to abide by. And only then are we going to be allowed to craft this. Once again, I'm going to type this out and then we will see. So this time we're going to have the type of Minecraft crafting underscore shaped. Should be fairly self-explanatory. We're going to do another category. We're just going to do this under miscellaneous as well. That's fine. And then we have to define a pattern. Now, the pattern is very interesting because it's once again a list. But this time it is a list of three strings and this pattern right here represents the crafting grid. So if I were to fill this up over here like this, then this would be a three by three area as you can clearly see. So if I were to remove this and, and keep it as a space, then what this would mean is that we would have to fill the crafting grid all the way up except for the middle part over here. So this would be akin to the furnace recipe, for example. But in our case, I want to fill this completely up with the hashtag but we now have to define what the hashtag actually represents. We do this with a key over here, and this is going to be the hashtag key right here, and this is going to be an item, and then it's of course tutorial mod colon sapphire. Because we remember, if we put a nine sapphire in here, then we should get a sapphire block. And that's the last thing that is the result over here, and that is of course another item here in this case, and that is going to be the tutorial mod colon sapphire underscore block. Awesome. For the pattern, you can, of course, define multiple keys, right? So I could, for example, do an S over here, and then I could add another key, call this S, make sure the casing here is correct. I believe that the casing here is important. So we do have to do this. And then, for example, I could say, well, that actually represents a Minecraft a stick here in this case. For example, that would also work. Highly recommended to play around with this a little bit. You will also see the vanilla recipes in just a moment. Vanilla recipes, that's a great segue because, of course, we now have a shape recipe with a pattern defined right here and a shapeless recipe where we just put the ingredients inside of the crafting grid. However, you might ask, Kaumjo, but how about cooking in a campfire? And how about smelting? And how about blasting in a blast furnace or smithing or any other way that you might be able to craft? How can I do this? Please tell me. Don't worry, I'm going to help you help yourself 
And the way that we do this is we will expand the external libraries down here and we're going to go down all the way to net Minecraft client extra 120.1 or whatever your version might be. And we want to take a look in the data folder, Minecraft, recipes, and then behold this glory. As you can see, every single vanilla recipe available for you to take a look at. It doesn't matter what it is. I want to know stone cutting. Let's take a look at it. You put in cobbled deep slate, you can get out chiseled deep slate, and there's a count of one, and it is a Minecraft type stone cutting. Bam. You just select this, copy it over, change the items and the results. That's it. That's all you need to do. Literally for every type of recipe, you have everything available right here that you basically are going to need. What we will copy over is the copper ingot from blasting raw copper and the one from smelting raw copper. You'll click on one and hold control and then click on the other. Both of the elements are now selected and you can press control C to copy them. We'll just go back up to the recipes over here and then just paste them in. Now, in this case, we of course need to change the names. So we click on this, press Shift F6, and then this is going to be the Sapphire from Blasting Raw Sapphire here in this case. Awesome. The other one's similar. This is going to be Sapphire from Smelting Raw Sapphire. Awesome. Now, of course, we need to change the interior of this as well, the content, right? Now, this is going to be the group. Well, that one should probably be Sapphire here in this case. And the ingredient that we have to put into the Blasting Furnace is, of course, not raw copper, but tutorial mod colon raw underscore sapphire and what are we going to get out well tutorial mode colon sapphire awesome similar thing happens in the smelting recipe you can see the difference here is literally just the type in this case and of course the cooking time as blasting is usually faster so this is going to be the sapphire group again and once again we want to put in tutorial mode colon raw underscore sapphire and what we want to get out of this is tutorial mode colon sapphire Absolutely awesome. And that is literally all you need to do. In the future, we will see a way that makes this about 100 times faster and about 28 times easier, I would say. It is an amazing thing. We're going to look at data gen, but like I said, this is going to be in a future tutorial. For the time being, I want you to understand the JSON file before you just put out a little bunch of code and then they get generated automatically. So typing them out and or copying them over, changing the individual things that are inside of them make a lot of sense. And I highly recommend you basically do it like that. And a quick reminder again, the external libraries literally have every single vanilla recipe. So yeah, you basically can just look everything up. One thing you will find in the recipes might be that it uses a tag instead of an item. This is quite important. We have not talked about tags just yet, and we will in a future tutorial. However, for the time being, if you copy one of those over, simply change from tag to item and then change it to your item, and then it's going to work. No worries at all. Right, and with that, we have all of the recipes that we need. So, jump into the game, and let's craft something. All right, found us back in Minecraft, and let's just take a look. Put some coal in here, put some raw sapphire, and there we go. It starts smelting. Does it also start blasting? And of course, it starts blasting. And if we're going to make a sapphire block over here, we're going to get it. And if we want to return this, absolutely no worries. Nine sapphires gotten back, including the sapphires that were blasted, and also smelted. Absolutely freaking fantastic. A tiny quick addendum over here, of course, the category here determines what category this is going to be displayed in for the recipe book. So just keep that in mind. And then the group is just where it's going to get grouped together into. But that is it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll be adding loot tables and our blocks are finally going to drop something. I hope to see you there. So yeah.